Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! More where that came from! The entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Lot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes? No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed, didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but I. I. I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No? You sure? Okay. Good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. Hey, Sam. Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. I have some questions about pancakes. <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here with a couple quick substitutions. What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. Isn't that just straight up dirt? No. For the umami. Weren't all the supplies here kinda old? Look, you can't take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits. And protecting us from, like, food poisoning? Psst. No one's getting sick from my pancakes. Unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. Eh, better late than never. Where'd you get the milk? From the goats? Oh, yeah, that would have been easier. <laughs> hey, it brought us closer, Fran. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No! Gross! I found some fresh ones. And you know, if you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. Can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks! 
Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. I'm out of pancake questions. Good, because I'm out of pancake puns. What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Uh, yeah? Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. I think it's supposed to teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Bool? And because that's a famous family in the Psy community? And you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. It must be the helmet. Is your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's nerfect. <laughs> Am I right? Can everyone in the pool family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. What can you tell me about Compton Pool? Mm, Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. <laughs> no, still too tough. Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide, unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? You guys, learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. So, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? Uh, not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist because I'm really good with animals. Right, guys? Are you worried about Maligula? Raz, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. What? I never heard Look, about it. You believe the official story, do you? I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. Out of my kitchen, Raz. Unless you want to end up a pancake. Yep. Haunted water wheel? Round and round it goes. What makes it go, nobody knows? Uh, it's water, dummies. Geez, this place is a ripoff. I forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh... What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one flowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. <laughs> <laughs> 
It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes, I told you. We are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops? Oh, pretty. You guys! Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the Aquatodome. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. Yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were before the curse. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have... Family. Highly stretchable ligaments! Oh, yes, and family. Who cursed us? Too many questions! Stay away from the water! That's all you need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. You know, Agent Forsyth is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Ugh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Can I help? Yes! Tell me how to make the Devil's Fire Hose reach even greater heights! What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? How about some sight? Finish that sentence and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? 
Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's... Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona... Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ugh, oh, please. I'm from Grulovia. This is nothing. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but... Then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. Do you hate psychics as much as Mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galonkios, the ones who cursed us? They are not natural. They are not trustworthy. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy. Now don't get that big head. Right in your back, girl. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, the mouth of the mother lobe. What? There are no rules in horseshoes, just the shoe, the stake, and your mind. Creepy, there you are. Aw, oh, man, we found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late, you ruined it. Our mom's looking for you. Listening to some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh, can I listen to it with you? No. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa. You don't usually see this in the physical world. What a strange place. I want to dance with you. I need my me time. What was I doing out here again? Oh, right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. <sighs> Don't worry about helping out, Squirt. We're used to getting by without you. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Look, Dion. I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Cube back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever. Do you even realize what you've done? To the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. Bye, Dion. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion.
Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOV, spinning records for all you interns, out turns, his turns, her turns, and their turns. Mom's really worried about you. Oh, please. I'm the only one she doesn't need to worry about. Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Grulovia? That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? No, oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. 
Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind... Dad! ...that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. What's that? Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. Ugh. I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm, true. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. Well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I had that coming. What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son. She is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Grilovia and came here to get away from the curse. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. Hey, I found some of those scavenger. Mission critical psychonaut assets? <laughs> what was I doing out here again? Oh, How right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. Mr. Aquato, you almost started a. Am I doing the pose right? I'm trying to place my fingers on my temple like my son does, but... Huh. He should be the one imitating you, sir. What? Oh, no. I don't want to hurt any feelings here. But I can already tell that you are the most powerful psychic in your family. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Maybe if I got to do more practice. Man. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. It's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. 
That doesn't sound so. Impaling them on her needles. Filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. It's so spooky. There's probably nothing interesting. Oh. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe? Ooh, I got three. Even better. Not so fast. Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. your dumb goat life, okay? Hey, Frazy. I can't believe Mom forgave you so easily. Can we talk about you being psychic now? Ugh, look, Raz. I know we played all kinds of weird brain games when we were kids. But I'm not ready to break Mom and Dad's hearts like you did, okay? Dion's being a total jerk to me. What a newsflash. What else? Is the sky also blue? How long does the family plan to stay out here? Just until the circus makes enough dough to pay for the trip home. Why don't you stay here with me? And do what? Join the intern program. That sounds humiliating. It is, but it builds character. I think. I'll, uh, consider it. Maybe I'll check the place out for a while. If we can win over Mom, that is. Hey, where's Sugar Cube? You mean my beautiful tiny horse? The one you kidnapped? She's with friends. She asked that I not tell you her location. No, she didn't. 
don't tell me about my horse, Pooter. Bye, Frazy. Later, traitor. Compton, you guys could talk about beards. Hey, Lizzie. Not now, Pooter. I'm trying to abduct a goat. Why? For dinner. What if I brought you a tin can to eat? I like that kind of stuff in cartoons. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Last warning. I'm done asking. <laughs> On you stupid. That's a goat. special fungus, but I don't think it's a very special fungus. Man, I really need to work on my TK. Hi. Do you know Harold? Hey, get away from my goat! You want me to freeze you and I'm gonna nobody call messes you? with this Fuck. goat but me. Got it? You don't bite, right? Oh man, I almost had it! You messed me up! Let's go, Billy Goat. Yep. Did a psychic hurt you in your past or something, Goat? Why are you goats so slippery? Sounds creepy. As soon as we go see Compton, you can come right back here and go on with your dumb goat life, okay? Oh. This titanium is fake. Bring these bees to Agent Pool. I'm not 100% sure about these air holes. Just curious, do you think this would make up for any, say, harm I've done to animals in the past? Remember, I'm your favorite psycho. Bullies picked on me. I don't kill animals, okay?
sabotaging my mission. So, uh, what do you guys eat out here? Berries? Hi there. I know who's broadcasting that station. Why do you need to take over everything I like? Rasputin? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. <laughs> Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my... Well, I gotta go back to my spies. Hey, Mom. Hmm. I didn't betray the family. Listen. Your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now, your father has this change of heart. Suddenly, everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Go practice with him. Bond, go! Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. I am a psychic. So's Dad, and so's for Ow! Yes. And I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about Dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is... Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. <laughs> 